Hello everybody hope you all are doing well uh once again welcome back to my channel in today's video i'm going to teach you about how i edit my food photography images so uh here is my raw image directly from the camera so first of all i'm going to do some basic color treatment uh, from camera raw filter uh it's a raw image so uh, when i import it in photoshop so it directly opens in camera raw plugin i am going to increase a little bit of temperature I'm setting it to 4700 uh, it was 4500 uh, from the camera uh, I just increase it a little bit I'm not going to uh, do anything with the tint I think it looks fine already so I'm not going to adjust it I am increasing exposure a little bit so I'm going to make it 0.45 and that's it I'm increasing 5% of contrast so there are too much highlights already so I'm going to reduce it a little bit minus 15% is good enough so uh, I am increasing a little bit of shadow so it will give you a uh, uh, really nice fill light in your shadowy areas whites are just your white color pixels in your image so uh, whether it's in a background or in a foreground so it will affect that so I am also reducing it a little bit minus 10% and I'm going to add some little bit of fill okay here is a very uh, interesting feature in 2018 photoshop version uh, a texture so i really like this in food photography so let's see if i am going to increase the texture so what's happening it it gives you a very refined detail of your product so i'm going to increase uh increase it almost 35 percent that's it because in food photography the sharpness and the texture of your food uh, represents the freshness of your product so i think that's good enough now i'm moving forward i'm not going to do anything with the clarity it's already fine everything is clearly visible in the image as you can see i'm going to uh, increase the vibrance 15 percent and saturation five percent once you are done with the basic color correction settings just open the image so now it will uh, open just like the normal jpeg images you open in the uh, photoshop i am telling you again it's a raw format picture and uh, that's why when i imported it in photoshop uh, it directly opens in the camera raw filter but if you guys are working on a jpeg image you you can just import it uh in the photoshop and you can go into filter and go to camera raw filter and from here you can adjust your color correction settings here is everything you want i am done with the basic color correction now i am going to fix it a little bit so first of all i'm going to take a duplicate layer of this image by pressing ctrl j now i'm going to remove the light from the background uh, i'm just using a clone stamp tool by pressing s s is the shortcut for clone stamp tool so i am using this just give a target area and just increasing a brush size and just paint it fixing it from this part as well that's it that's good enough so uh, now i'm going to fix this table it looks slightly unbalanced from here and from here as well so i'm going to make a path uh, for that i need a margin a guideline so i am just dragging it over here and uh, i am putting another margin over here and now i am using a pen tool to create a path so i am just clicking it over here and by pressing shift button and clicking it again it will give you a straight line a straight path and now i'm drawing a path just clicking it over here by pressing shift button and mouse button that's it just 
click control enter and take a clone stamp tool and just i'm going to clone this surface so i am giving a target over in this from this part and just cloning cloning it and just cloning it from here from here as well control d uh, press control d for deselecting it uh, as you can see there are a little bit of sharp edges in this surface so i'm going to remove these sharp edges by cloning it again and that's it now i'm doing the same from the other side i am making another path from using pen tool Control enter, take a clone stamp tool and draw the path again. That's it. Now I am going to fix my bread. Just simply take a clone stamp tool and just clone it. It's a handmade bread, so don't need to fix each and every uh, area. Uh, it should look natural a little bit, but at the same time we have to fix the damage areas in the bread so i am just fixing these particular parts so it will look more fresh That's it now i'm going to fix this salad leaf area uh, okay i have to fix this part as well so just cloning it a little bit now i'm fixing the salad leaf area although it's a uh, little bit from this side just cloning it And that's it uh, now if you can see uh, this side it looks too dark as compared to this part so I'm going to clone this meat uh, over here so let's give a target area by pressing alt button I am giving the target area from here and I'm just cloning it similarly I'm going to fix it from this side as well a little bit from this side and that looks pretty fine now so good enough so uh now if you can see the bread it's too dark from this part it doesn't look good so i'm going to fix this uh, i'm just making a rough selection you can use any tool you can use pen tool you can use lasso tool you can use marquee tool whatever you want just feather it a little bit 100 percent and just uh, increasing a light by using RGB curves control M is the shortcut for RGB curves and I'm increasing a mid tones and reducing the shadows a little bit now I am now I'm going to fix its levels by pressing control L button and from this point you can adjust the highlights of the selected area and from this part you can adjust the shadows of the selected area and here are the mid tones and and from this part you can adjust the mid tones of the selected area so that's it now i'm going to create the color of this selected area by pressing ctrl b uh, i am opening the color balance palette and now i am going to from the mid tones 
I am going to increase yellow color in it reducing red and increasing a little bit of cyan now from shadows I am doing the same and increasing a yellow a little bit and same I am doing with the highlights so I am reducing the red from cyan and increasing a little bit of magenta and it looks pretty fine now so that's it increasing a little bit of light and it looks much better now so for this area you can just simple take a patch tool and just make a selection and just drag and drop that's it so now i'm going to fix the top area of the bread uh, if you can see the left side so and the right side of the bread so there is a very major difference and it looks too much unbalanced so i'm going to fix it i'm using a liquify tool so just i'm just going into filter and there is an option for liquify tool just click on that button and here is a window for liquify tool so i am just zooming in it by pressing alt and mouse scroll button and so i can see the guidelines over here the grids and you have to be very careful uh, it's a forward warp tool i am just selecting this and i am just going to click it over here and drag it just click and drag on the area that you need to fix i am i am increasing the brush size a little bit by pressing bracket button on the keyboard straight bracket button on the keyboard right next to p button it looks much better now i'm just going to fix a little bit from this area for now i'm just clicking okay that's it this area is still unbalanced so what i'm going to do is i am going to take a selection from this area and i am just going to duplicate this layer on the other side so uh, if you can see there are so too much rough edges at the bottom so make the selection accordingly cause these are rough edges so it will look more natural so i am making a quick selection by using pen tool and hit control enter take a duplicate of this layer and hit ctrl t and flip it over just click on flip horizontal and and drag and drop onto the other side i'm just zooming it in just right click select a warp tool and just I fix it accordingly according to the shape and that's it just hit enter all right so as you can see there are a little bit harsh edges over here so just select a eraser tool and just erase this area and that's it so take a clone stamp tool and I'm just cloning this part a little bit so it will look more natural now it looks pretty much better now I'm just fixing a little bit of this side and I think that's good enough so now uh, I'm going to fix french fries area so I'm going to merge these layers first by pressing ctrl e 
and now i'm going to take a pen tool and make a quick selection into this part and just control enter and make a duplicate of this selection and just press control t and transform it just select warp tool and transform it accordingly that's it and hit control m button adjust the light of this area reducing shadows a little bit uh, take eraser tool and just erase the edges of this particular area that's it good enough i'm doing the same with this part taking another selection from this area select the background layer and just control enter take a duplicate of this area and just control pressing control t again to transform it and just place it over here right click on it and just select warp tool to adjust it further and and put it according to the shape of your subject that's it now just hit enter and let's just the light by pressing ctrl m activating the curve tool and just increasing a light a little bit just hit enter and okay now take eraser tool and then again i'm doing the same with this one removing the harsh edges from the surface that's it that's it so this was before this is after this is before this is after so i think this looks much better now and just i'm merging all these layers now i'm selecting this area from lasso tool and by pressing shift button you can add the selection area so i am selecting it again and that's it now just right click on it feather it a little bit and just take a duplicate by pressing ctrl j go to filter others and high pass i am putting the radius eight percent just hit okay now go to the blending mode change the blending mode to hard light and if you think it looks too much sharp so you can reduce the opacity over here so i am reducing the opacity to 60 percent and that's it so i think it looks much better now so okay so uh we are done with it i'm adding one more thing in the background i personally like this light beam uh in the background so i am just making a selection from pen tool and just control enter feather it a little bit so it will give you a very smooth selection and uh, just going on to this layer take a duplicate of this part and just hit control m and increase the light of the selected area by pressing control m i personally like this little bit of contrast in the background if you don't want you, you just escape it but i like it so i am just adding a little bit of contrast just hit enter so this was before this is after so just control all shift t so guys we're done with it so now let's compare this image from our original image so this was our original image from the camera and we have converted this into this. I hope you guys like the video. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and hit the bell icon on the top so you guys will receive the notification from my upcoming videos.